When most folks think of retirement, the vision is one of a little travel, leisure, maybe a little fishing, definitely slowing down. Well, recently, Ken Wilshire spent some quality time with a retiree in Goodlettsville. Now, this man's idea of retirement is more about tireless restoration than any kind of relaxation. After a long and rewarding career as a college engineering professor, Edgar Lowe retired, but he didn't take the traditional approach of fishing and golfing, traveling and spending time with his family. He built this log cabin. I mean, he had to have a place to begin pursuing his retirement dreams, as well as preserving a musical treasure. Actually, Edgar, or Ed as he's called, built the rustic cabin out of logs from a couple of old houses he found in Hickman County. They were some of the original structures in Middle Tennessee and date back well over 100 years. They certainly were worthy of saving, and this is what Ed says he loves to do. And I feel like that's what I've done with these buildings is, is to maybe reshape them. They're not exactly what they were originally, but I take a look at these logs right here and I see that they're, uh, they've been given new life. They're not gonna rot. They're, they're gonna be here for another 100 years as long as the roof and the foundation are good. But the big surprise is inside. And I'm not talking about the furnishings. It's another 100 year old structure Ed's brought back to life. And there it is, wow. He's restored an old pipe organ he found in a Shelbyville church. It would probably be in a landfill right now, but thanks to Ed, it's again producing its original sounds. I have always been interested for some reason other than pipe organ. Even as a small kid, the church where I went had one, and I think I'm just fascinated by the way they work. You know, probably a pipe organ is the most complicated musical instrument there is. It's just, um, somehow it appealed to me. I was just, I've just been interested in it as long as I can remember. In the early 18th century, German composer and organist Johann Bach once said that playing the organ is nothing remarkable. He said all you have to do is hit the right notes at the right times and it plays itself. Well, he had to be kidding. I mean, first of all, you even need to have special shoes to play it. They've got a smooth leather on there that allows you to slide your foot across the pedals from time to time. All 10 fingers are constantly moving across multiple keyboards and then both feet heels and toes with their special shoes are playing a footboard. Talk about giving both sides of the brain and neuromuscular system a workout. But when you put your fingers on that keyboard, how do you feel? I feel like I wish I could play better than I can. <laughs> the most amazing part of this story is that Ed says he could hardly play a note when he started restoring the organ. But with his zest for learning, an experienced instructor and lots of practice, He's come a long way towards mastery of this magnificent musical instrument. In box time, the pedal boards were shorter, and so most of his works were done with toes only. And while box toccata and fugue in D minor may be a few lessons away, his teacher, Jenny Smith, says he's far beyond chopsticks. He's a joy to teach because he's serious about it. He doesn't take himself seriously, but he's his approach to practice is wonderful and every teacher's dream. Of course, Ed's engineering experience and analytical mind have been helpful in not only playing the organ, but certainly with its renovation. It's an empirical study in electricity, physics, aerodynamics, and mechanics. I think it's more the curiosity side of engineering that I find drew me to the pipe organ. I was, I was curious to see if I could, if I could do it. I could put one together. And really I did a pretty much a total rebuild. Uh, I rewired, rebuilt, bought the new wind reservoirs. So it came to be the instrument that I've got in there today. But Ed is a civil engineer. Building roads and infrastructures is his forte. So with his love for restoration and preservation, this is the first log house he built. It's his home. Still, his Middle Tennessee homestead needed something to give it a true rustic look. So by himself, he built a traditional rock fence. 
It took hundreds of hours and thousands of stones to create this stately boundary. And in his spare time, Ed built this quaint storage house and carport out of more old logs he saved from a decaying demise. So what's next for Ed? From a building standpoint, I think it's probably done because code says that I have reach the maximum accessory building square footage. So I can't add anything else. No, I think I've, I've done all I want to do on that. But I think I can put up a good log building. Yes, you can, Ed. And we've seen and heard the historic old pipe organ you've restored and enjoy playing. You truly inspire us all and set a unique example of how to retire.